Hi, this is Joachim for statisticsglobe.com and in this video I'm going to show you how to apply the stipple and istipple functions of the dplyr package in R. So in the video I'm going to show you two examples and both of these examples rely on the data frame that we can create with lines one to three of our code. So if you run the first three lines of code, you will see that a new data frame appears at the top right of our studio. And we can also have a look at this data frame by running line four of the code. And uh, then you can see here at the bottom in the RStudio console that our example data frame contains of five rows and three columns. Now, if you want to apply the stipple and istipple functions of the dplyr package, we also need to install and load the dplyr package. And this is what we can do with lines six and seven of the code. I have installed the package already, so I'm just going to load it with line seven of the code. Um, so after running this line of code, you will be able to use the stipple and istipple functions of the dplyr package. Now, in the first example here in lines 9 and 10 of the code, I want to show you how to convert a data frame to a table with the stipple function. And um, this can be done simply by specifying the name of the data frame, so in this case, my data, within the stipple function, as you can see here in line 9 of the code. So if you run this line of code, you will see that a new data object appears here at the top right, which is called my tibble. And we can also have a look at this new data object by running line 10 of the code. And then you will see that the new data object that we have just created is actually a tibble, which contains exactly the same values as our input data frame. So if we now want to check if a data object is really a tibble, then we can apply the isTibble function, as you can see here in line 12 and 14 of the code. So in line 12 of the code, I'm going to apply the isTibble function to our original data, which is a data frame. So if you run this line of code, you will see that the isTibble function returns the logical value false. So this means our data frame, my data, is not a tibble. However, if we apply the isTibble function to our tibble that we have just created, as you can see here in line 14 of the code, then you will see at the bottom in the RStudio console that the isTibble function returns the value true. And that means that our data object, my tibble, is a tibble. Yeah, so that's basically what I wanted to show you in this video. However, if you want to learn more about this topic, then you could check out my homepage, statisticsglobe.com, because on the homepage I have recently published a tutorial in which I'm explaining the isTibble and stibble functions in some more detail. I will put a link to this tutorial into the description of the video, so you could check it out there. And furthermore, if you have liked the video, I would be very happy if you leave me a comment. And don't forget to subscribe to my YouTube channel in order to get notifications whenever I'm releasing new videos to the channel. That's it for this video. Thanks a lot. See you next time.